Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at farming bosses and how to do it efficiently and get legendary drops from the bosses. Now, if you recognize this place from a video that I already uploaded today, it's the same area where I gave you a farm for chest hunting. And then this one is going to be specifically for bosses. So if you haven't checked that one out, go and check it out. And on this video, hit that like button and tell me about other things that you may have found in this game, which make good videos and I will make them too. But let's get into it now you want to go to a place where there's any kind of entrance into a new area so any kind of like abandoned mine any kind of door that you go through where there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies in an area that means there's probably an elite now the elite has a slightly different symbol which i'll show you in a second and what you want to do before you get to them is wipe out everyone else in the area so that they're not in your way let's do that now Right, so right now we're fighting the elite of the last room and I took them down some major health. So we're going to actually just give them one more little shot. This is going to put them close to death, I hope. Or at least one health bar, that's fine. Then we're going to save the game here, like so. And this is going to be our respawn points. So now all I got to do is finish them off. Check for loot. So at the moment, they've got a corrosive pacifier, which is a shotgun. It's got exterminator plus 30% damage or corrosive damage being applied to enemies and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out and I'm going to load the game. I think that was the last save that I made, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at it like, wait, hold on. That's, that doesn't look right, but it was. We're going to go back in, kill him again straight away um and hopefully get a bit of better loot and then if not we're just going to keep going and keep going and keep going until we find something that we like a blue exterminator beowulf no thank you even though it does look like it's got some really good fire rate range accuracy and round so maybe just a legendary farm isn't as cracked up as it's meant to be but some of the blue weapons are also really good they just have less mods and that's what legendary is about is getting all those mods that you might want um so let's do it again Pow! And there we go. Our first legendary from this person. It's actually a pack for the back. You got Beast Hunter, minus 15% damage from alien enemies, antiseptic plus 25% airborne resistance, and assisted carry drains 75% less O2 while running while encumbered. So if you like to carry a lot of stuff and run around, this is going to be a beast of one for you. I've got one that's similar, but it's the Mantis one, which I prefer. So I'm probably just going to keep that one. So let's see what else we can get from this person. Okay, a, an incendiary rescue axe. We don't want that. What is this? A legendary calibrated helmet with ablative, um, reducing energy weapon damage and plus 25 radiation resistance. That's pretty useful for a few of the planets I've been on, but it's not that important. Let's go look for another legendary. A staggering modified calibrated maelstrom. Um, pretty good SMG in my opinion, but not what I'm looking for. Though it does look like it could be a bit of a beast and it looks amazing as well. The red and black, I love it. Next. A Hitman modified calibrated Maelstrom. So this is a different version of the same weapon. I'm tempted to take that, but I also want to just get another legendary. Well, if you want an SMG, this is the place to get it off this guy. Look at this one, though. Radioactive. Space Adept plus 30% damage one in space, and you randomly deal radioactive damage. Not bad. And we have a demoralizing refined Kraken, which is a legendary pistol. It's got exterminator plus 30% damage against aliens, plus 15% damage while aiming for the Hitman perk and demoralizing small chance to demoralize a target this looks amazing and i'm so happy that i stuck it out to get this um this probably took about 15 minutes if that to be honest um so let's have a look at this weapon in action <coughs> doom 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 right so let's favorite it and put it over on this side like so and i really hope it's a, a well firing weapon let's have a look Oh, it's fully auto. Yes, please. I am in for that. So yeah, all you have to do, save it just before hitting an enemy and then just keep going over and over again, loading it up and killing them over and over until you get what you want. Now, again, I've said this, you don't always have to get a legendary. What is going on with my character? Um, you don't always have to get a legendary. Some of the purples and blues are as good as well, but obviously there's just more mods on the legendaries. And of course, if you're going to spend... 
You want it? I'm, I'm in the middle of a video, lady. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to head out, but you interrupted me while I'm doing a video. Yeah, so before I was rudely interrupted. You could go and farm blues and purples as well, but if you're going to be spending time doing this, I, you know, you, what's going on with this game? I'm glitching out here. Ah! Um, but yes, yeah, so yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.